right? So what happened here is these girls was babysitting a kid, a little girl, and they basically curb stomped the little girl to death because oh, she was um she, similar to the first story we did, but way worse. They curb stomped the, the little girl was was what? What are you talking about? I said, no, I'm saying what as a response to yeah what you yeah said. yeah like, yeah. They, they 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 the little girl. I guess she was acting up and they they beat her, and, but the girl oh, died oh. during the beating. Yeah, and the little girl, like they, the little girl didn't die immediately. She died a few days later. Oh. Like they, they, yeah, they like, like they like broke the girl's leg in half, and but what they didn't, they didn't take her to the hospital. They just tried to like keep watching her and shit. Like, like, like nothing was going on. The fuck? Yeah. The severity of the blow to that child's leg and to say that you did not recognize what had been done to ignore what must have been the excruciating sounds that came from that child on a daily basis is more than disconcerting to this court. And as such, the court finds it appropriate that each be sentenced to the State Department of Corrections for a period of life. You will get credit for any of the time that you This is why people hate black people. So you got both families there. You got the family of the defendants and you got the family of the little girl there. And the family of the little girl got to watch the mother of the defendant out here wailing and crying and shit. Throwing a temper her tantrum. Because her daughter's getting punished for literally, they beat this little girl so bad that, like the judge said, there's no way you could be around that little girl for two days after that and Jeez. not and, and not have taken her to the hospital and not have called an ambulance. Like that little girl was like a pretzel and they just kept her and was like, I guess they would, didn't know what to do or they were scared they was going to get in trouble. But, and then the girl ended up dying later. They could have saved her. Like she could have, and they probably would have got, yeah, huh? Hey, I, I can, and the guys here, you guys know Tommy Sotomayor, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Tommy. He, he calls these women um, Terminators. You, you, you ever heard what, what yeah, his B, description BT1, BT1000s. BT1100s. Yeah. I, I think he's got a point, you know. Yeah. I like it's, the way the judge just gave her the sentence matter of factly the judge didn't even the judge didn't put no sauce on it like the other judge she just like I sent you like the judge should tell that mother hey stop crying oh, the ball from the floor <laughs> Tell the judge tell her stop crying. Can you stop your crying. Well, and the defendant has a dramatic faint too. Yeah, both of them. Somerville, South Carolina. That's my wife's from. Man, this is where the Singapore can is needed, man. Nah, just kill them. Just, uh, just put a bullet in their heads. See, this is this, this is this is the stark contrast, right? Like you got those guys that were stoic and kind of like you know what I'm saying, um, showing that like they didn't care, and it, and that's offensive in its own way. You know what I'm saying? The way they were acting, because you know you, you acting like you tough and you don't give a fuck that you kill somebody. But these girls, they literally that little girl was in excruciating, agonizing pain for two whole days while they sat around eating popcorn and trying to figure a way out of the situation when they could have just called an ambulance 
and got that girl to a hospital. And think about it. The judge gave them a life sentence for, like, beating a little girl to death. Sisters. Sisters don't get punished like that. For a sister to get a life sentence, they had to do something extremely cruel and outrageous. So them acting like they're victims now, I find that offensive. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's like, their default setting. Yeah. Their default is they're victims. They, yeah, they're victims. They can't be held responsible for, for any of their actions. So that's why they threw a tantrum. Yeah. yeah. We'll watch, watch this. It gets better. Get up, Eric. You got life sentences, sir. Get up. Get up, Erica. Stainless Steel's calling your name. What do you think Brown Sugar would say about these two girls? You probably tell them they go, they go to hell. Yeah, you so she, she, man, you gotta leave Brown Sugar alone. She, she would say, "Fuck these people, man." I mean, like, yeah, oh, she, she got, she got yeah, a soft spot for kids. Get up, Erica. You got prison oatmeal waiting for you. <laughs> Come on, Erica. That stainless steel toilet calling your name. Get up, Erica. The three by five's calling you. Look at the three guys just looking at her. But they should put their foot in the ass and pull her up. And look yep, at her, Erica. she gonna fight. She, Jesus. the mom fighting the bailiff. These people are disgusting, man. These oh, people man. are disgusting. You see where she gets you, it from. You sat through the whole trial. You know what your daughter did to that little girl. She had two days. The girl's leg is bent in half behind. Her. You know what I'm saying? The little girl bombs broken. She got gashes all over her body. She had two oh, days to, to call the hospital. And she didn't, and that girl died late two days later, succumbed to her injuries. That girl was a fighter. That little girl stuck in there and survived and survived and survived and survived for all those terrible wounds and terrible fractures. And she survived. She could have definitely survived if you had called the ambulance. If she survived just laying there and y'all just sitting there watching her and agonized, she you, she could have definitely survived. So it's, a, it's almost 100% that if she had gotten medical attention, she would have survived. Because she survived for two days in her state. So they, so there's no there, there's no way you could, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, what did you think? She was going to get 40 years? And, and you know what I'm saying? And some white people have come by 20 years and fucking get, let her free because they feel sorry for her. Or say the judge was, the judge was racist. Well, you can't say the judge was racist because the judge is black. But it'll say like uh the cop who arrested them was a racist or some shit like that and get them free. No, they getting life. There's no way out of this shit, man. No, fuck that. They should show them they should show the mother autopsy photo. Oh. Yeah. So, did the women turn themselves in? Nah, hell no. We got caught. Get a slapper. Put that shit out. You know what you did. <laughs> <laughs> they wasn't expecting life. I'm telling you, they were expecting like 20 years. You know, thirty years, maybe even they was expecting, even probably even thinking they sisters, they might have been expecting ten years, or well, you know something like that. They were not expecting life for this for this case, man. Um, mm. yeah. Right. 
Yeah, salute, salute to um, my man, Mad Peace. The saddest part about all this because of some people's famous low comprehension skills, none of them will learn anything. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's that's the part that um that's the that's the part that I think gliders will never understand, man. Like yeah, they, they this this if they got out tomorrow, they would be on IG arguing and shit and talking about pull up and all shit like that, and we'll drop your Addy and we them city girls. Yeah, they, they would if they got out tomorrow, they would just pick up right where they left off. That's 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 so true, but um. There's no, there's no solution. Basically, that's what he means. I wonder and why we don't. No I wonder why we don't send female prisoners to a quarry. Turn yeah. big rocks and little rocks. Yeah. yeah, these these girls, these girls though, they thought they was gonna get twenty years, fifteen years. That judge said life and just like shuffled her papers and got rolled out. <laughs> like, she was like, she was like, they did not. They were not expecting. Back in that man. So, so there's no parole with life, is it? You don't, you can't get parole. No. Oh, All right. I just want to hear the the the, the sentence. You get credit for time. <laughs> that sister's cold. She gave some sisters life. You know that was hard for her, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they be trying to look out for each other and shit. Well, what does that mean? Take credit under credit. What, what what does that mean? She they've been locked up during the trial. They didn't get bail. This was before all this bail shit. This bond. You know what I'm saying? This is before bail reform. So like when they got arrested, they was in jail. All the until during the trial. Nowadays they would have been home, you know what I'm saying, coming to court and shit for the trial and shit. So they getting credit for all those days that they served. But if it's life, it don't yeah, be that's right? what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so she being sarcastic. Yeah, ex exactly, exactly. All oh, right, oh man, that's cool, man. It's, it's, it's insane, man. It's just crazy out here, man. <laughs> and on that note, man, salute to everybody. Peace. I'm out. Cheers. Peace out, everybody. Happy Resurrection Day. <laughs>